Another mass shooting in this country has occurred, leaving six people dead at a private Christian school in Nashville, Tennessee. Three children and three adults were senselessly killed by a 28-year-old lunatic who apparently hated life and had nothing to live for. As this tragedy continues to unfold like the hundreds or even thousands that have came previously, many people are asking the question why and how God would allow such chaos and tragedy such as this. So in this video, I'll talk about the specifics of this insanity and let you know that no matter what, God will never leave you nor forsake you. Police are saying that this was a targeted attack on the Christian school by a transgendered woman. The scene is one that this country is heavily acquainted with. Kids lined up and hurried away from the scene. Parents waiting to be reunited with their children as scores of first responders hurrying to the front lines to render aid. According to Nashville officers, there were detailed maps, surveillance, and entry points of the school drawn by the assailant. As of today, this marks the third major school shooting of the year. So how is this still happening? Why would God allow this to happen, and especially at a Christian school where he's the center and foundation for their existence? Many say that gun control is the solution, and others say that it's not. Some are even asking the question of whether there's meaning in this tragedy. When we witness a natural disaster or mass shooting such as this, it's human nature to think that what occurred should not have happened. Having the right perspective is key when trying to make sense of this tragedy. Most will disagree, but the only answer is found from a Christian viewpoint. Because God instills meaning into every moment and event in history, through him we can begin to find meaning in suffering. The nature of this world lends itself to tragic events. Fortunately, God speaks to us so that we can find not only meaning, but salvation and relief from the sufferings of the world. God is the only reference point that we should be looking to only to find comfort in times that we're dealing with when things are this bad. Without God, even the events we consider the most tragic are no more meaningful than anything else. We have to understand the nature of this world and our relationship to God in order to draw any meaning at all from the things we see. God gives us confidence that he understands everything that has transpired thus far. When Jesus instituted communion, he tied the past, present, and future together. 1 Corinthians 11.26 says, For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, the present, you proclaim the Lord's death, the past, until he comes, the future. If God knows when a sparrow falls, he certainly knows when we face tragedy. Matthew 10.29-31 In fact, God assured us that we would face trouble in this world, John 16, 33, and that he has experienced our struggles personally, Hebrews 2, 14 through 18, and Hebrews 14, 15. This may sound far-fetched to most, but God is not the source of tragedy. Human suffering is mostly caused by our impure hearts and sinful actions. It's a sin issue. In order to prevent tragedies such as this, each person must come to terms with who they are and repent of their sins. The person who caused this unimaginable amount of pain blatantly disobeyed the moral law of God, which was a matter of choice. While God is perfectly capable of stopping tragedies before they begin, sometimes he chooses not to. While we may not know why, we do know that he is perfect, just, and holy, and so is his will. Also, the suffering that we experience in this world does three things. It leads us to seek God, it develops our spiritual strength, and it increases our desire for heaven. Romans 8, 18 through 25. I would love to hear from each of you in regards to this senseless tragedy that has taken place. Unfortunately, scenes such as this has become normalized in our society, and it will take every person on the planet to humble themselves and repent from our evil and broken hearts. The individual who caused this mayhem was hurting, yet had no right to take the innocent lives of the six people who succumbed to their wounds. If you're emotionally or spiritually not in the right place, I pray that you seek the help that you need. Thanks again for watching, and my prayer to all families who were affected by this, that they would look to God for their health and strength. Take care.